Okay, in this um, video, I'm going to show you how to change your outgoing COM port if you have WinXP. When you set up your Bluetooth connection to your robot, if your Bluetooth connection decided on a or picked an outgoing COM port that has a fairly low number, COM4, COM5, COM6, Calico will work just fine. Unfortunately, if you have a number like I got, COM12, Calico won't really be able to work with that. So what we need to do is pick a smaller COM port. So that's what we're going to do. So the first thing we need to do is go to the Start menu, Settings, Control Panel, and select System. Here's the system. And now what you need to do is pick the Hardware tab, and then click on Device Manager. Once you've done that, the Device Manager window pops up. You want to go down until you find your ports. Here we go. Click on that little plus sign next to Ports. And you'll see the different COM ports that you have set up. This says that I have COM1 set up and also COM12 and COM13. Um, so I'm going to click on COM12, that was the outgoing COM port that got set up. And then I'm going to right click on it with my right mouse button and say Properties. When I get the Properties, I'm going to pick the Port Settings tab. This is exciting, huh? So I'm going to click select the Port Settings tab, and then I'm going to click Advanced. And finally, it's going to let me change my settings for COM12. And what I want to do is I want to pick a different COM port. And in fact, it'll show me all my COM ports that I have available. Notice, by the way, it says COM1 is in use, and then all these other ones are in use for me. When, when I looked at, let's stop this for a second, when I looked at my device manager, it only told me COM1, 12, and 13 are in use. So in all likelihood, COM1, 12, and 13 are the only ones in use. The truth is that if your machine is using any COM ports, it's probably using the very, very low ones like COM1, COM2, COM3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this advanced settings where I was before, and I'm going to change it from COM12 to something smaller. Now I'm going to leave out 1, 2, and 3, even though it tells me 2 isn't in use. I'm going to leave that one alone. And I'm going to pick something like COM6. I think that's pretty safe, or COM8. Maybe I'll pick COM8. Okay, click OK. It's going to complain. It tells me the COM name is being used by another device, such as another COM port or modem. Using duplicate names can lead to inaccessible devices and change settings. Do you want to continue? Well, yeah, I do. I want to do it for two reasons. The first is because Calico is not going to work if I don't. And the second is because I'm pretty sure my computer's wrong about this. And the worst that happens is that Calico tries to send a message out on this COM port. Think of it like a pipe while another program is trying to use that same pipe and the message gets garbled. So that could cause problems, but it's only going to cause problems if you're running two things at once. So if you pretty much try to stick to just Calico, you should be all right. So just Calico when you're running Calico, and when you quit Calico, you'll be fine. So let's say yes. Give it a minute. Mm -hmm. It says the port's in use. We're naming the port. Yes, I do wish to continue. That goes away. And now I'm going to click OK on these port settings. And I'm going to close my device manager. And finally, I'm going to close my system properties. And if now I look at my Bluetooth menu, if I say Start, Settings, Control Panel, Bluetooth Devices, Here's my IPRE device that I set up before. And if I look at the COM ports, now it tells me that my outgoing is on COM8, just like I set it up. So outgoing, COM8, now remember that. Okay.